Our eyes work a little bit like an autofocus camera in being able to change focus from distance to near within a few milliseconds. As we get older, this autofocus capability declines, and at one point, our arms just don't feel long enough to hold the text far enough. The loss of focusing ability at near in older age is known as presbyopia. As a result of presbyopia, most people over the age of 45 require reading glasses to supplement the loss of the ability to accommodate. Although presbyopia can only see clearly at near with reading glasses, an optical phenomenon known as depth of focus comes to the raid and helps extend the range of clear vision a little more. Most of the depth of focus in the eye is believed to be produced as a result of the structure of the optical components of the eye. One recent theory for correcting presbyopia is by extending the range of clear vision by increasing the depth of focus of the eye several folds. Here in Manchester, me and my supervisor, Dr. Gemma Radakrishnan, have been developing optical models to understand the changes in depth of focus further. In another study, we use state-of-the-art technology to alter people's optical perception and allow them to view the world through the optics of another individual's eye. This study saw it that we are all very adapted to the optics of our own eye and viewing through the optics of another person's eye doesn't always benefit us as much as the other individual. We are now trying to understand how our brain processes this optical information to produce clear vision that is produced by depth of focus. This is done through texting vision with complex targets which enable us to separate the optical and neural contribution to our visual perception. Overall, we found that depth of focus differs greatly from one individual to another and a range of different factors influence the depth of focus capability. The new corrections which extend depth of focus are likely to be effective for a large majority of individuals. My name is Juan Zapata Diaz. I am an optometry PhD student at the University of Manchester and this project has been funded by the European Union 7 Framework Programme to the Marie Curie ITN HI.